Hey guys and welcome back to not another dwelling Excel, but it's actually a troll. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of response to Mr. Excel and Excel's fun trick 96 uh, total all lookups. I have the file ready here. Uh, so basically, we wanna calculate the bonus based on the amount that we have here. Now. The functions that Mike and Bill used are, are based on the actual lookup function in Excel, but what we're going to be using is uh, we're going to be doing two ways. We're going to be using uh, with Power Pivot, we're going to be using a calculated column, and then we're going to just create a measure or calculated field in Excel 2013. First, we have the table here, so I'm going to just hit Control T. To make it a table. Once I have that ready, I'm gonna go here. It says Power Pivot. Create link table. I have the table here. Then I'm just gonna create a pivot table. Okay, I'm gonna move it. It's gonna be in here. So I have my model. I didn't have a pivot table. But I want to go back to this power pivot window and I want to uh, also uh, create a column here that will actually give me the bonus specified for each row. First, I need to import this table here. That is the one that defines uh, the amount of bonus that the actual cell gets. So I'm going to transform this one to a table, control T. Okay and then link that table to my data model just like I did with first table so I have table 1 and table 2 let's see if I can actually get this to look better now yeah. okay better now so I have table 1 and table 2 now notice that those two are not related it's gonna be what we call disconnected tables now I'm going to create a formula here that will retrieve the bonus that goes with this record. The formula will be the following. I'm going to calculate the maximum of table 2 bonus column using a filter. The filter is going to be filter table 2, I'm going to filter table 2 using this amount which is equal, sorry, is larger or equal to the table 2 cell. Close parenthesis, close parenthesis again, and that should give me this amount. So for each one is actually calculating uh, the bonus. Now let me change that to be uh, bonus. And what it's basically doing is that it's going to this table here, table two, and it's basically the same for this one. I want okay, one two eight three five twelve thousand eight hundred thirty five. I want to filter this specific column to be uh, give me the ones that are less than or equal to 12,335 once that's actually done then give me the maximum, maximum amount of this column which is 12 and that's how we actually get the bonus here that's what this formula here is doing now once we actually have that we can just go to our pivot table here just hit refresh and we're going to be seeing this column now here. We can just go ahead and create our measure, or we can just drop it here as a sum, and we're going to be getting the same sum that Bill and Mike had. So it's going to be 652. Now that's using the calculated column. But what if I don't want to create a calculated com column? I just want to use a formula, just a that measure. Well, what we can do is that we can actually create that mixture just by saying I want to sum we're going to be using the sum x function 
and we're going to be creating something that can be can be compared to a temp table, a temporal table. We're going to be using the add columns uh, uh, formula, uh, which is, as you can see in the syn syntax here, it's going to request me a table. And to that table, I'm going to be adding another column, just like the formula says, add columns. I'm going to be adding another column to this table. So table one, I'm going to be adding, here I'm going to be adding uh, my column name. The column name is going to be uh, bonus one. Let's see that it's going to be bonus one. And the expression is basically going to be the same that I had on my Power Pivot model, which is maximum of tape, table two bonus. Then I can actually click here where it says filter, filter. So it's writing the same formula that, the, that we actually wrote on the Power Pivot model, the data grid. Uh, so table two. And I want it to be table one, uh, the amount to be to table one bonus. Sorry for me. Sale. So. Close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and we also close parenthesis here because we only added one column this existing table and then as you can see some x needs a table and based on this table it's going to be uh, doing an expression here uh, it's basically going to be uh, using the sum function the aggregate sum and since we created this new column we're going to be putting this column name as bonus one this is using this brackets bonus one and close parenthesis. Check the formula to see if it's actually right. And then hit OK. As you can see here, we actually got the same result. And it's actually up to you to decide which of those uh, ways you're going to be using. Uh, these are basically two, two power pivot ways. So this is going to be uh, basically up to you to decide which of those you want to use. That's basically it guys, uh, hope you guys like it, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and subscribe.